What's going on YouTube? It's your buddy Will at the What's Up in the Sky 37 channel or online at www.whatsupinthesky.com and you are looking at a picture of the 1909 Lucky Penny from Curiosity, the first one sent back. This is the most highest resolution picture sent back. They were taken from the Molly Cam, which is the cam that's uh, attached to the arm that gets a picture, a lot of those really up close pictures. The, uh, the actual, let me tell you a little bit about the picture itself. The picture is 13.9 micrometers per pixel. That is amazing. If you know anything about uh, pixelization and how pictures are taken, that is a very sharp picture. Now this is used for calibration. As you can see, the wonderful Martian dust just hanging around here. Look at it all on, on top of old Lincoln there. Just dust had just gotten into it. And this is the first time it's been sent back as a picture. This is the Lucky Penny. Basically, it was for... Uh, it's for calibration. Let me read you this. This is from the uh, Mars. Let me show you the pictures real quick. This is from JPL, and uh, you can see the calibration tool here. Oh man, it looked much cleaner back here on Earth, didn't it? There's our penny right there before it made it uh, maiden. See right there, it's the Molly calibration target. Um, all right, and let me read a little bit to you here. Uh, like I said, I'm, I'm really enjoying doing these nude articles. I think I hope you guys enjoy them because I bring you the stuff that I'm really interested in or I think that you guys will be interested in. Uh, I really think it's helping to bring some new people in the channel to see some of the anomaly videos. And like I said, here we go. Molly camera, the M-A-L-C-L-I calibration target in ultraviolet light. Now this was a uh, press release was from, I think it was last year when they sent this out. Yeah, February 7th. Okay. The camera at the end of the robotic arm on NASA's Mars Curiosity rover has its own calibration target, a, smart so, a smartphone sized plaque that looks like an eye chart supplemented with the colored chips and attached penny, 1909. When Curiosity lands on Mars in August, researchers will use this calibration target to test the performance of the rover's Mars Hands Lens Imager, or MOLLE. Molly's close-up inspections of Martian rocks and soil will show details so tiny the calibration target includes reference lines finer than a human hair. This camera is not limited to the close-ups though. It can focus on any target from about a finger's width to way to the horizon. Now, some of the best pictures have been from this. It's, it's come from the actual rover. Um, there's a couple that were kind of skewed because the head of the thing was pointed this way and we got some pictures from it of the horizon. I was very impressed with it. And this makes sense now why it looks so good when you when you turned it around so it looked good. Um, let's see here. Curiosity, the rover of NASA's Mars Science Laboratory mission, also carries four other scientific cameras and a dozen black and white engineering cameras. That's why a lot of that stuff we don't get the good stuff. Um, let's see here. Basically, this is more and more. All right. The penny is on the Molly calibration target as a tip of the hat to geologists. In formal practice, or yeah, in formal practice of placing a coin or other object of a known scale in their photographs. That's also a scale, so we know it's there, we know how big it is. A more formal practice is use an object with scale marked in millimeters, centimeters, or meters. Edge it says. Of course, this penny can't be moved around and placed in the model images. It stays affixed to the rover. Yes, I mean, it's got to be right there, so you can't really put the penny up wherever it's taking the picture. Um, let me read a little bit more about the target. The middle of the target offers a marked scale of black bars in a range of labeled sizes. While the scale, um, while the scale will not appear in photos of Martian rocks, knowing the distance from the camera to the rock, it will allow scientists to coordinate the uh, correlate the cal calibration images for each investigation image. Um, pretty cool here. It aids in the color too. See how it's got the it had those little color things on it too. It helps them get the color down, you know, so they can add that wonderful green that we are, that the wonderful orange tint that we all love to it. Um, here's the uh, bar again here, see the color? So NASA Curiosity Rover sends back picture of Lincoln 1909 Penny. Like I said, there's the article there, there's your headline. Much love guys, what's up in the sky 37? I've got some more anomalies coming at you, some, a couple more articles for tonight, and I hope you enjoy it yourself. It is, let's see, it's Wednesday, already 6.15 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. I hope you enjoy. Um, we're sending our pennies, so at least we know we've got, <laughs> at least we know we have some of our fiat currency up on, uh, well, technically, it's metal, so it's not fiat, but much love, guys. Take it easy. What's up in the sky 37? What's up in the sky.com? Hit like, hit comment, hit share, tell your friends about it, help me grow this channel. Much love.